Hey guys, so today we are going to show you how to make and prepare lamb chops. This recipe is super amazing and I hope you guys make it yourself and I hope you enjoy this video. She is just preparing, putting everything together and I'm gonna show you guys all the ingredients that she's using. Whenever I come and see this girl, <laughs> she's laughing because she knows what I'm gonna say. I'm always, she's gonna I'm most of the lamb, guys. <laughs> I'm always like, Melly, I'm coming over to your house. Not to see me, she's coming for lamb chops. If I come over to your house, could you make some lamb? I'll even pay you for it. <laughs> that's how bad it is, but that's she how good- She could have it at a steakhouse, but she rather have it for Melly. That's how good her food is, like, so. And now we're here to show you guys exactly how she makes her lamb. What do you make it? So lamb, I'm I'm making some lamb chops with a side of salad, you already know. I was supposed to do it the African style, more like the Manu Express, Recipe, if you don't know my Which is her business, but we'll talk about that later. Make sure you Google that. But we got a handsome chef in the house who's giving me a few of his secret ingredients. So you're all gonna see it as, as it's done, but you're not gonna taste it. You're gonna savor it from the view. You're gonna eat. Hey. It's lamb and then melt the So we got. Uh, ooh. What's for BB again? What will you look like? Obviously, Melly would never do that. Ooh, got some salad. Just got some bot salad because, you know. But it was on. Oh, poor cool thing. We're not really in the mood of um, making salad from scratch. It's not good. It's not good. Don't even ask. Just the one I had before. This one? Yeah. No, we're not fine. Um, that's not that one we tried, no, that's right? Not what you had. That's the There's three, I so I have no idea. Yeah, if you haven't had Moscow Day, try it. Babe, put me on it. Okay. All right. We're going to start this. So the first thing I do, I have an anal about bacteria. You can use vinegar, or you can just wash it with hot water or cold water. I usually use lemon. You know, I, I just like using lemon. It adds a little bit of a zesty flavor to it while cleaning it out. So I let it sit on it for like maybe like just five minutes. You know, it's really, really, really strong concentrated lemon so that's gonna do the deed. I remember like growing up like when my mom would show me how to cook or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we're making like chicken, we'll clean it with like vinegar. Yes, so vinegar similar, is the normal thing to use. But lemon is okay. I used to use lemon yes, as well. Yes, so yes. Good. If I do vinegar, I don't let it sit for too long. Yeah, I wash it off, right? Yeah, I wash it off right away. But if I use lemon, I can let it sit for five minutes to like, you know. Yeah, I don't let mind. it just because it's lemon. Yes, exactly. Lemon's not just gonna squirt it in your eyeballs. And put the sauce together to marinate. Like I said before, guys, her food tastes delicious. I'm always trying to get her to cook for me. Like she's my personal chef. Imagine that, man. But I know she doesn't mind it because, you know, she loves me. I don't pay for the meat. <laughs> guys, she doesn't come check me unless there's lamb. Can you guys believe it? She goes, is the lamb already prepared, seasoned, is ready to be like eaten when I walk in? And if there's no lamb, she like calls in and cancels her appointment with me. The audacity. <laughs> okay, we're gonna mix the sauces. Obviously, everybody knows what Diana sauce is. Yes, I still use Diana sauce and mix it with other stuff. It goes with everything. For like chicken wings and everything. You already know. Diana never went wrong, okay? She's been in the business for over a century. So I kind of eyeball the measurements for those of you looking for the measurements. Maybe we'll do a write-up if I could. Mm -hmm. So, black pepper obviously. And you know, we black guys, you know, we don't really measure out here. <laughs> we just eyeball it, you know. You better have the right hand. As someone once said, we don't measure it. We just wait until our ancestors tell us when to stop. <laughs> are you for real? Your ancestors are watching. Never you forget that. Let's just stop. Okay, so. So yeah. lamb has natural oil that I usually love. So you don't really need a lot of oil. So I would use virgin, but I use sesame this time. Okay. They, okay. they can both work. Olive, virgin, sesame. You don't need a lot. Oh yes, honey. Damn well know that has to be in there, guys. Okay, dogs. Some onions, please. If you have actual that, onions, okay. use that. That's a. It'll make a difference. Dry, dry chopped onion. Yeah, you can substitute whatever. As long as it's onion, just put some onion in there, guys. We got some mint sauce coming on true. This was recommended so by a very, very good chef, by the way. You can't afford him, so I won't be listing his uh... up. 
Mm. Mm, that smell good. I can smell from over here. Can you really? Yes. So there you go, guys. That's natural mint, okay? That's not like um Chinese version mint. <laughs> Excuse me to my China people, them. I can't stop eating uh, fried rice, by the way, from the China, Chinese store. I don't know what they put in it. Secret sauce, obviously. So I have some mint jelly. I'm just gonna put a little bit of it just so you see the difference. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're gonna add that beautiful mint jelly into the mixture. We're starting somewhere. We start, we start small and get bigger. You just gotta keep doing what you gotta do and don't stop. You should stop if it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you should stop if you don't know what you're doing, please. Yes. Because some people are in the wrong um, careers or they're doing the wrong thing in their life and they're just like, and, like, and like you know, not aware. making music for the ghost. But let's not even go there. <laughs> if you have a dream, stop sleeping and dreaming. Wake mm -hmm. up and execute. Yes, honey. Manifestations are real. Okay, so what are we doing? Okay, guys. So we added some basil in there. Basil, let's see. Oh, okay, basil. Yes. Oh, so cute with your accent. <laughs> I like using the um, hot peppers. What is it called again, honey? The flakes? The pot no, pepper? not this one. The actual... Um, oh, scotch the bonnet? Thank you so oh. much. Thank you. Scotch bonnet. I don't have scotch bonnet. No, we substitute, okay, guys? So if you know what you're doing, yeah, you know what like you're doing. The, the flakes, guys. Like the, yeah, um, the crushed pepper. red pepper. Yeah. I would like to say it's as hot as the scotch bonnet, but I promise the actual scotch bonnet does the job quicker. That's also That's steak cool. seasoning. There were two types. I okay. used two different ones because yeah. they're not the same for real. No, yeah, no, they're not, definitely. I know I know that one. Yeah. This one, I don't know, but... There's a reason there's two different ones in the cupboard, guys. <laughs> not forgetting the salt. Ooh, I'm not can. big on salt. I'm usually big on Maggi, but today we're gonna put some salt. Not a lot. If you love salt, you can add it later. This is a mixture of um, different peppers and veg. You know. Let me see what that one is called. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can. You guys can see the pictures on all of these ingredients. Again, if you don't have it at your local grocery store, don't kill yourself. You can substitute a lot of. Don't worry. Stuff. I'll, I'll actually um, uh, write the ingredients that you used in the description below. Yes, so make and sure if you don't know what to substitute it for, don't hesitate to subscribe, follow, and ask questions. You'll get a reply. Okay, I have these two sauces for my final. I'm not putting so it down, but let me see. So let's make. Let me get it focused here. Get it focused. Yeah. So we have hot sauce. Okay. They're both hot sauce okay. with different flavors. One is jalapeno and the other one is pineapple habanero. I'm oh, putting this at the end because wow. it's going to be a self-choice for those savoring this dish. Mm, do you guys see the chef so, over here? Mm -hmm. Last but not least, I usually use soy sauce, but I'm happy that a sweetie had this mouth vinegar. I don't usually use it all the time, but just because we have it, we're going to use it. Okay. I'm substituting this for the soy sauce, which I usually use, by the way. We got all those seasonings in and nice. Ooh, look, at so that. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All of that beauty. Oh. You wanna try, baby? Oh, Take, put scared. the finger. Don't be scared. Oh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Ah. You're my guinea pig. Let me try. Mmm. Oh. Okay, that smell says it all. Do you see the sauce, guys? Right? Ah. Make sure I'll take three of all, guys. <laughs> She's exaggerating because it's not even ready yet. So we're gonna rinse this out, obviously. Unless you're making some lemon. So now she's gonna rinse. Lamb. Rinse out everything. Just cold water. Not that it really matters, but it's better. Mm -hmm. That's all rinsed perfectly. Mm. I wish you guys were here, but there's not enough cuts for all of y'all. So just like I said, sub on the picture in the video. This looks so good. That's so delicious. Honestly, guys, I'm good with brisket, beef brisket. I was not big on making lamb properly before because I wasn't sure how to make it. Obviously, I know how to season it. I wasn't sure how to actually like get it done to the actual like um what's the word the actual tenderness you know better off soft falling off the bone than dry right never dry never dry this is not chips okay i'm gonna slow grill it not on high you know 
if you know, you know. However, this is gonna sit for another five minutes just to sink in. It doesn't hurt if you do it the night before you actually wanna grill it. It just makes it taste even better. Yeah, the night before is definitely. But we're too, hungry, but so this is sitting for five minutes, we're right in. We're not playing. So this sauce goes great with beef brisket. It goes great as well with lamb chops. <clears throat> so, like I said, you guys are gonna see uh, the recipe and um, you can either use lamb chops or you can use beef brisket. We are going to enjoy a glass of wine. She's gonna have her tea while we sit and wait. Where is it? Queenie? It's okay. You're getting kind of thick on that backside. So we're gonna catch up to you when we're done eating. Yeah, oh, the grill what? is already hot already. Ooh, baby. Hold on. Y'all know what's up. It's going down. It is going down. It's winter. Okay, autumn is done. Don't mind the fur coat. A queen has to be warm, of course. And mm -hmm. I'd rather this than the oven. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, if you have a charcoal grill, do yourself a favor. Use Good that instead, okay? We are literally outside on the balcony. One of my favorite things to do in the winter is actually grilling outside. Don't ask why. So right Can there, it's coming through. I'm gonna put it down, guys, because we don't want to put it on high yet. I said I was gonna slow grill because I want the seasoning to really soak in. So we're gonna close this and we're gonna check it every 10 minutes. It smells so good. I can smell that. It smells so good. Oh, it smells good. I'm gonna go sit down. It smells delicious. You can just like rub this on it every like five minutes or 10, you know, because that's not going to waste, guys. It's gonna be a feast up in here. Look at me just laying down. <sighs> Waiting for the meat to be cooked. Yes. I don't want them dry. Mm. This girl, like, well, she went to do something well, else and I had to turn everything. I you that. And, you know, but it's okay, you know, I didn't want it to burn, so we had to turn it while she went to do whatever she was doing. But it's okay because it's already, okay? I'm not gonna say what I was up to, guys. Let's right. just leave it at that. She just disappeared, but you know, I'm mean, eating the food. I've been a while, so fans could get busy as well, guys. Are we going to eat at all? Yeah, you're going to eat. Are we going to eat at all? Put your bag in that room, Over there? Yeah. This is so See, he sucks. He said it's too far. Say hi to the camera. Making the lamb shanks after, right? Are you or not? You have no shame. We are going to make lamb shanks. Okay, so she's going to... not going to eat any of it. So, she not, so after we finish eating this, that. she's going to make, you know, some lamb shanks. So this is just for us to... You know, oh, satisfy oh, our um, craving. So uh, I kind of want to, you know, get it in my tummy because I'm hungry. Yeah, this is the one I All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share if you'd like. And until next time, this queen is out.